Well, first of all, it helps if I turn the microphone on. So, all right. Hey, YouTube. Scott Stevens here. Uh, I just was in a live stream and starting this week's Florida Championship Wrestling Show, and it, the game crashed. So I want to give a special shout-out and a thank you to 2K for putting out such an unstable game that's happening way more often than it should. Luckily, the show had not started, so we didn't lose anything, but the matches are different than they were just a moment ago, so I'm going to go through them again and see what the card is for tonight's show. Greg Valentine takes on Lex Luger, Bam Bam Bigelow, the uh, FCW, he, he's the Florida heavyweight champion. He's hooking up with Bruiser Brody. Bruiser is the NWA television champion. Uh, that's a non-title bout, by the way. Yep. Uh, Kevin Sullivan is hooking up with Pat Patterson, Mick Foley against Axe, Ronnie Garvin against Brian Nobbs, Arn Anderson, who is your Florida Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, has a non-title bout against Justin Michaels. We're going to play that one out. That's a, a big opportunity for Justin. Uh, Wild Samoan Sika is taking on Andre the Giant. If you watched the previous live stream, he was scheduled to go up against Afa. That was going to be Afa versus Sika. That was going to be a good match. Now, after the crash, he is going to take on Andre the Giant. There's Afa. He's going to be matched up against Ox Baker. And the main event of the evening, Haku, hooks up with Big Boss Man. So let's start the show again and see if this time we can get it without a crash. I'm glad we didn't play out any matches. I hate having to do shit twice. Luckily, we were on this screen when it crashed. Capacity crowd here tonight in a stack card. Oh, it's going to be a wild one, Cole. Let's get down to it. And then the, then the funny thing was I did not, I forgot to put my mic back on. <laughs> All right, we're here in Tampa, Florida. For the weekly Florida Championship Wrestling Show. All right, let's get started. Greg the Hammer Valentine defeats Lex Luger. Bam Bam Bigelow, the FCW, he's the Florida heavyweight champion, non-title bout against Bruiser Brody, and Bam Bam Bigelow comes out with the victory. Kevin Sullivan <clears throat> defeats Pat Patterson in a three-star match. Mick Foley defeats Axe. Here's a good one. Rugged Ronnie Garvin hooking up with Brian Nobbs. Ronnie Garvin comes out with the victory. And here's a big, big match for the career of Justin Michaels. He takes on Arn Anderson, who is the FCW World Heavyweight Champion. He is also the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. So Arn Anderson is at the top of his game right now. Justin Michaels is making a name for himself. He's been taking down legend after legend. If that were to continue here tonight, he would certainly earn himself a shot at the title as the belt is not on the line tonight. Another long, long load time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 255 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion. The Enforcer, Arn 
Anderson. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. The champ planning to show his dominance of this division with an emphatic win tonight. The only thing that's certain for Arn Anderson tonight is he will leave the match with the belt as the title is not on the line. But Justin Michaels has been on an unbelievable winning streak lately, taking down legend after legend. He's looking to solidify a title shot with a win here tonight. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 228 pounds, the voice, Justin Michaels. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. He does. He took out Hulk Hogan last week on AWA's wrestling show. He's beaten the Macho Man. He's beaten the Ultimate Warrior. Justin Michaels has been on a ridiculous winning streak lately. What are you expecting from oh, the superstar Cole. tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that oh. he's going to attack his opponent. Oh, leading up to this hostility that we've never opportunity. Seen yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. But he'll be taking on an individual who is turning a lot of heads as of late. He's gained a level of popularity that has steadily grown week by week. And he wants to prove that the hype is legitimate. Oh, that's got to sting your back. He's got him scouted. A counter answered by another counter. Oop. Big forearm. That didn't work. Counter. And now there's an opening. Rolling Drops elbow. Arn Anderson. Hit the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Oh, oh my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. He's looking a little off balance. And now he's on the downside. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. Oh, 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 nice connection with the running boot to the face. Except when Justin does it, he's got shoes on. Targeting the body. Those are hard-ass heels on the bottom. Arn hits the canvas. Hit the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Perched up top. Boom. And he's just flaunting his skills now. I think they both took a little hit on that one. Physicality with his attacks here. From the top. He oh. paid for that one. Yes, oh, he man. did. Big time. Placed in the corner. Oh, he knew what was coming. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, my God. Terminating knee smash. It's a revolving door of forearms. Arn Anderson is in trouble. Just defenseless as the momentum is against him. Yeah, now he has to devise a way back into this. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. 
Can he take advantage of this? He's going to give it a shot. And he's still in the game. Oh, Arn Anderson did, kicks out. In there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? Though so you got to believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Up yes, he will. Now. First up top. Diving knee drop. Shoulders down. He gets him. Justin Michaels with the huge win. Uh-oh. Now Sergeant Slaughter. He comes in. He's beating both of them. Take them both out at the same time. It's smart. The guy wasn't even expected it. He just had this hard-fought match. He picked up the win, and then he was assaulted. Got to keep your head on a swivel at all times. Sarge took them both out. Justin does, does get the win, though. Three-star match. Very good. And being the final show before the pay-per-view, he may have just earned himself a title shot. I don't know what the hell Sarge was doing. He came in and beat both of them up. All right, so the final matches of the evening here at Florida Championship Wrestling. Wild Samoan Sika loses to Andre the Giant. Wild Samoan Afa takes on Ox Baker. Baker pulls out the win in, in a two-star match. And the main event of the evening, Haku, does battle with the big boss man. Haku gets the win in a two-star match. So it is now time for June Jubilee. The June pay-per-view event shared by Florida Championship Wrestling and the American Wrestling Association. Okay, let's see. Yep, we are here. We have lots of rivals. Feuds going on. Let's take a look at the matchups. Big Boss Man against Haku to get things going. Here is, uh, see, Sergeant Slaughter got himself a title match. World title on the line. Arn Anderson defends against Sergeant Slaughter. Abdullah the Butcher, your AWA World Heavyweight Champion. This is not a title match. It is a non-title bout against Larry Zabisco. I don't know why you have a non-title bout on a pay-per-view. Alpha Samoan does battle with Hulk Hogan. Bam Bam Bigelow. See, look at this. Bam Bam is the uh, Florida Heavyweight Champion. Adrian Adonis is the AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion. And the two of them get together for a non-title match. I don't understand. Here's a tag team match. Your I think they're the A yeah, they are the excuse me, Dawkins and Ford are the AWA World Heavyweight uh World Tag Team Champions going up against Otis and Chad Gable. I don't even know why they're in there. I, I don't recall them being in any of these shows, and it's a non title bout anyway. So that match pretty much means nothing. Here's Jesse the Body Ventura going up against Rowdy Roddy Piper. And the main event of the evening, we'll watch this one. It is a non-title bout. It's a steel cage match between Andre the Giant and Road Warrior Hawk. I gotta say, this is kind of a shitty card. Only one title on the line. We'll spectate that main event. Sergeant Slaughter, the only one getting a title shot this week at the pay-per-view June Jubilee. Sold out and fired up crowd. The WWE Universe is in fine form here tonight. 
They know they're about to witness something special, Michael. So are we. And I, for one, cannot wait. Newark, New Jersey. The Rock. The home of the New Jersey Devils. This is where we are for tonight's pay-per-view matchup. Not only is it a title bout, but it's the second match of the evening. These are these are pretty sad matches here. But here we go. First match of the evening, Big Boss Man against Haku. Big Boss Man takes the win in a two-star match. All right, and here is the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Arn Anderson defending against Sergeant Slaughter. I think I'll be, you know, I'm going to be the sergeant trying to win the title. Arn Anderson is the NWA world champion as well, so we'll try and be Sergeant Slaughter and see if we can win the world heavyweight championship. I've not yet seen Sergeant Slaughter in action. This is a very weak pay-per-view card. Lots of champions on the card, but only one putting it on the line. And the Bam Bam Bigelow, Adrian Adonis match, each of them are the secondary title holders for their organizations. Neither one of them putting their title up for grabs. Very odd. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, now we're talking. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Sergeant Slaughter making his first appearance on Universe. This is a man who makes the most of every opportunity, and this is his biggest opportunity ever. Why it's a title match, I don't know. Lots of other people have worked hard and earned a shot at the title. Sergeant Slaughter makes his debut with the belt on the line. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there is no way we crown a new champion tonight. Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. Introducing the challenger from Paris Island, South Carolina, weighing in at 314 pounds, the Destroyer, Sergeant Terror. Sergeant Slaughter. And introducing the champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 255 pounds, 
He is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Enforcer, R. Anderson. Well, Sergeant Slaughter's name is all screwed up. Championship match set to begin. Obviously, they don't have a Sergeant Slaughter. I don't even think that was close to what he said. So if he doesn't win the belt, that's not that big a deal. We'd rather have a champion that has their name intact and everything. But we chose to be him, yeah, so we're going to be, the be him. And harder than winning it, wouldn't you say? Is there no lights in this place? It appears that there's no lighting above the ring here. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Ooh, stinging kick. He's got the answer for that one. Drop kick on target. Sergeant Slaughter off to a strong oh, start. Merciless knee to the face. Dropping the elbow. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Yeah, he's firing on all cylinders. Has the leg trap. Fisherman suplex. He's got the hook. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. That's all right. You have the opportunity. You got to take it. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Nice takedown. He's going for it all. He might be kind of far away. From the top. Yeah. Landing. And now he's really falling behind. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Climbing to the top rope. Try it again. Take off. Elbow drop, good lord. Heading up, he's thinking big. Incoming. Oh my gosh, what a dive. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. Oh, look at this trap. move. This won't end well. Oh, 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 oh. that is a brutal move. And Arn Anderson is in a lot of pain. And it could be the end of his title reign here. Camel clutch. Someone's getting humbled. Tap out. Do it now. He wins with a devastating. Arn Anderson taps out, and Sergeant Slaughter is the new world heavyweight champion. New champ. Wow. Arn Anderson taps out and quits. Here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, the Destroyer. Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter. You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. Talk about history in the making. This is literally one for the history books. And we got to witness it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about the new champ. Sergeant Slaughter wins the World Heavyweight Championship in a two-star match. Average. He got Arn Anderson to tap. So Arn Anderson, I'm sorry, Sergeant Slaughter is your new world heavyweight champion. Here's Abdullah the Butcher, the AWA champion, but not putting the title on the line up against Larry Zabisco. Zabisco gets the non-title victory. Hulk Hogan hooks up with Afa Samoan. Hogan gets the two-star win. Bam Bam Bigelow, the Florida heavyweight champion. Battles Adrian Adonis, the AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion. Neither one of them putting their titles on the line at the pay-per-view, which is kind of stupid. Bam Bam Bigelow gets the victory. This this uh, tag team match, no one cares about. I need to get rid of these guys. Um, Rowdy Roddy Piper takes on Jesse the Body Ventura. Piper gets the win in a two-star match. And the main event... 
Steel Cage match. Andre the Giant against Road Warrior Hawk. We're going to watch this one. Because this should be a good match. No titles on the line for the main event of this pay-per-view. But it should be entertaining nonetheless. Behold the unbelievable presence that is the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The true meaning of a larger-than-life superstar. Superstars now forced to combat each other in close quarters, surrounded on all sides by unforgiving steel. There's no running away now. The question just becomes, can you conquer the cage? And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Andre's up to a quick start. The shoulder with the claw. Give up now. Swallow your... <laughs> Escape and a takedown. These two have been feuding for a little while now. Making the climb up the it all cage. comes here to an end here tonight. Looking for a grip to get them Andre's trying to the find the cage already. But Hawk's not going to let that happen. The cage. Oh, and crashing a long way down. And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. That's a tough break at this point in the match. Oh, man, targeting the leg. And look here, he's making his way up the cage. Heading up and maybe heading Hawk's out. got a pretty good strategy. Injure your opponent's leg so he can't get up and stop you from climbing the cage. Pretty good strategy, but it didn't work here. Contains all the disdain superstars have one another. Corey, what does the superstar have to do to come out on top? You need to be keenly aware of the situation at all times. Andre pulled him in the hard way. And then he tries. To attempt and win. Your words have never been spoken. If your opponent is you gotta figure that under his boots to assess the situation. are huge. They have to have a hard time getting into the holes to climb the cage. And right now, all these guys are doing are just ripping one guy down and climbing. Plenty of variables on the table. Taking turns climbing the cage. And he hits the mat with a thud. Sometimes opportunities can backfire like, oh no, he can be caught here. 
targeting the shoulder with the claw. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out. Andre this has an advantage in every match he's in just because of his size. Ah, oh, what a smash! But Hawk is showing he's not afraid of the he's big man. A little batter now. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. Trying to escape the cage! Ooh. Oh no! Cover! Shoulders are down! Gets the shoulder up after one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Out of the way in time. He just barely dodges. What a punch! Elbow smash! Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt! Oh! <laughs> 520 pounds down on the chest. The cage wall, the big and Andre's climbing the cage. Hawk is absolutely injured. That's a lot of weight to come crashing down on the chest cavity. And Andre, he's up. And Can he get over? His leg is stuck on nothing. Cage. All he has to do is drop down to the floor. That's so stupid. Will be raised at the top of the cage, but his opponent stops his progress. He I mean, I don't care who wins the match, but when he's got his leg up, up on the, the crossbar there, there's nothing going to stop him from going over. There, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. He just has to swing that leg over. Yeah, that's all he had to do. Apparently, it was too heavy for him. There you go. Hawk eats some steel. And again. And he goes down. To the canvas. Andre has a huge advantage now. If he can just swing that second big leg over the top. I mean, there's nothing holding it in place right now. That's just so dumb. They, they gotta make that shit look better. Two superstars now battling at the top of the cage. They gotta make that look better because that just looks ridiculous. That his leg is on the top, but he can't bring his own leg over. I don't care how hurt you are. Your momentum would pull the leg over if in this position. Your own momentum would pull the leg over. If nothing else. So close. Yeah, but I have a feeling the fall's about to be so far. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. Oh, it's not safe being up there. It's a lot of weight on that and top rope. So close to the very peak of the steel cage. Andre again is going to give now? Hawk a steel dinner. And here's some dessert. And Hawk is down, injured even further. The only thing stopping Andre from getting out of the cage right now is Andre himself. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. He's working towards making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Oh, it's not safe being up there. Andre's taken a pretty good beating since he's been up there. Hawk has been pounding on his legs. Now Hawk is on top. They're both up there. Who's going to get the leg over? Oh, Hawk eats some more steel. Andre reaches for him but comes up empty. But now Andre's head slams into the steel. Both men cage. sit on top. He's to going different oh, ways. So I don't know what Hawk is doing. He's climbing he's down from the cage. The and then climbing back up, Andre finally gets that big fat leg over the top. And the match is over. Andre the Giant is going to beat Hawk in the steel cage match. There's the bell. And he survives this brutal cage match. Gotta say that match kind of sucked. It was just the two of them up on top of the cage for the most part. Big victory and a strong showing from this superstar. And Hawk very, rolls very out impressive. through the mesh. He rolls and out of the ring through the mesh continues. and heads back to the locker room. 
Andre oh, no, does the same. Oh, this match is over. This going is after mark. Hawk. Yeah, what is this all about? This is ridiculous. Kinda is when both of them rolled through the fence. Maybe the victory wasn't enough. Oh, into the steps. <laughs> they wanted to send a message. So Andre the Giant gets the victory in a two-star steel cage match. I don't even know if I'd give it that much. And uh, they both rolled through the fencing. Interesting. That brings an end to June Jubilee. The fans are probably happy because that was not the best pay-per-view card in wrestling history. But let's take a look now. First, we move over to Tuesday night's AWA action. And I want to see Arn Anderson. I want to see if he has a feud going. He does not. All right. So what I do when there's a title change or someone challenges for a title, since I have so many people on each show, if somebody challenges for a title and loses, they get banned from the organization. If they are the champion and they lose the title, they get banned. This way, I always have fresh people uh, coming to the top for the best matches, but I don't do it if they're involved in a feud. And Arn Anderson... All right, first of all, I'm looking at the wrong show. Okay, there's Arn Anderson right there. He is indeed in a feud with Sergeant Slaughter, so we are not going to remove him. Okay, it's almost like every title match is a, a loser leaves town match because um, when you have 40, 50 people on the roster, some guys don't get a shot. This way, it keeps things uh, revolving nicely, but... I don't do it if they're in a feud. I let the feud play out. And they are indeed in a feud. So Arn Anderson will stay. So let's take a look at tonight's AWA action. Some of the television match uh, setups for the AWA and FCW, all of them, have, are better than the uh, pay-per-view card we just watched. That was pretty sad. We have Bob Backlund doing battle with Luthez. That should be a good match. Big John Studd against Brian Nobbs. Kevin Sullivan against Afa Samoan. Nick Bockwinkle and Abdullah the Butcher, who is your AWA heavyweight champion, going up against Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins in a tag team match. No titles on the line there. Greg the Hammer Valentine against Tito Santana. Andre the Giant does battle with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Adrian Adonis, the um, AWA Southern heavyweight champion, non-title bout against Ox Baker. Blackjack Mulligan makes his universe debut going up against Hulk Hogan. And the main event that we will play out, Nikita Koloff goes up against Jesse the Body Ventura. Should be a good match. Welcome to the greatest spectacle in live entertainment. Michael Cole here with Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, ready to kick off the action here tonight. Make no mistake about it, sports entertainment is alive and well. Let's see who's up first. All right, we're in England for AWA action. Bob Backlund against Luthez. Bob Backlund gets the victory. Big John Studd does battle with Brian Nobbs unsuccessfully. Brian Nobbs, a nasty boy, gets the win. Kevin Sullivan falls to Wild Samoan Afa. 
Nick Bockwinkle and AWA champion Abdullah the Butcher in a non-title bout against the AWA tag team champions. Bockwinkle and Butcher get the win. Greg the Hammer Valentine defeats Tito Santana. Andre the Giant does battle with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky Steamboat gets the win in a two-star bout. Adrian Adonis, the AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, in a non-title bout against Ox Baker. Baker gets the non-title victory. Black Jack Mulligan makes his universe debut against Hulk Hogan. And he is victorious. And tonight's main event on AWA television, Nikita Koloff goes up against Jesse the Body Ventura. And I will be Nikita Koloff. Should be an interesting matchup to see. Jesse the Body Ventura. Nikita Koloff, two big strong men from the 80s. 70s and 80s. And let's get to it. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen here. Something, obviously. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, okay. Look at I expected this to happen at some point. This guy hasn't been able to keep his hands off him. The official telling the guy to get out of here, but come on, the damage has already been done. Yeah, apparently, they don't believe in a fair fight. All right, Roddy Piper attacks Jesse Ventura. This isn't fair at all. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. Coming into this fight, his opponent's been boasting a new, more aggressive attitude. We'll have to see if that new approach will produce oh, any missed. dividend. Jesse Ventura. Not off to a good start as he gets attacked by Roddy Piper. And Nikita Koloff just sat there and watched it happen. He's not going to help his opponent. That's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Gets him with the counter. That shoulder targeted there. That had took a long time. Reverse pain for that mistake. Left by the turnbuckles. Boom! What a right. Haymaker connects. He's on his heels a bit now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. <laughs> Jesse falls face first to the canvas. And the knee. Nikita Koloff just continues the beatdown. From the middle rope. Looking for a high-risk move. He is. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Right to the middle of his move. chest. A high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Taking flight. Oh, he flash. nails it. This is more than Jesse Ventura advantage. first this got attacked of all by Roddy Piper, making his way to the ring. And once that was over, Nikita Koloff started on him. Oh, God. Nikita Koloff right is beating the shit out of Jesse Ventura. He did have an advantage at the beginning. There's no question about that. Now he's going to try and make him tap. And he gets him. Jesse the body can't hold on. He quits. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Russian. Bear, Nikita Koloff. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Well, and it helps when your opponent gets jumped the before the match. Tonight. What a steamrolling. That does help things when your opponent takes an ass kicking before he even gets into the ring. All right, one star match. That's one and a half stars, lackluster. I'd go with that. 
All right, that brings us to the end of AWA's weekly television show. Nikita Koloff with the victory. With the help of Roddy Piper. Next, we move over to June. Uh, I'm sorry, Thursday night, Florida Championship Wrestling. We are in week three of June, and here's the matchups for tonight. Arn Anderson goes up against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Arn Anderson is the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, but there will be no titles on the line in that match. Ronnie Garvin battles Pat Patterson. Bam Bam Bigelow, the Florida Heavyweight Champion, has a non-title bout against J.J. Dillon. Mick Foley does battle with Dory Funk Jr. Samoan Sika versus Lex Luger. Hulk Hogan continues his feud with Alpha Samoan. Kevin Sullivan takes on Dusty Rhodes. The Big Boss Man and Haku continue their long feud. They've been going at it for a while now. And the main event, we will play this. The Hart Foundation takes on Gilberg and Ox Baker. That's cool. I'll be uh, I'll be Gilberg and Ox Baker for that. All right, let's get the show underway. The wait is finally over, and we are set for action. All signs point to this being one to remember. Yeah, there's a lot of tension in the air backstage. We've got a real powder keg on our hands. Well, I, for one, am eager to watch the fireworks, so let's light the fuse and brace for impact. All right, once again, here in Florida, Arn Anderson, non-title bout, is the former world heavyweight champion, just lost it. To Sergeant Slaughter, he takes on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, but something is going to change. Sergeant Slaughter came out. He is the new World Heavyweight Champion after he forced Arn Anderson to tap at the June Jubilee pay-per-view. It's a three-star match, but it turns out to be a no contest. All right, uh, Ron Garvin. Ronnie Garvin against Pat Patterson. Patterson gets the win. Zero stars on that one. So two uh, very interesting matches to start the night. Bam Bam Bigelow is your Florida heavyweight champion. He has a non-title bout against J.J. Dillon. J.J. Dillon pulls out the surprise victory. A three-star match there. Mick Foley against Dory Funk Jr. Mick Foley comes out victorious in that one. Here is... Wild Samoan Sika hooking up with Lex Luger, and the total package gets the victory. Hulk Hogan continues his feud with Afa Samoan. Afa gets the victory in a two-star match. Here is Dusty Rhodes against Kevin Sullivan. Dusty Rhodes gets the victory, and this feud has been going on for a while as well. Haku takes on the big boss man. Three-star match, Haku once again with the victory. All right, here we have the main event of Florida Championship Wrestling for the evening. It is the Hart Foundation, who are the Florida, uh, they are the Florida Championship Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. The title is not on the line, though, here tonight in Orlando. Ox Baker and Gilberg are the opponent. Kind of an odd pairing there. Ox Baker is tough. Just two weeks ago here on Florida Championship Wrestling, Jim uh, Neidhart and Bret Hart went at it in the main event. Now they're friends again. I don't really understand the algorithms of this universe thing. There was no reason for them to go up against each other. And there wasn't even a mention of it. But they're back together again, and they take on Gilberg and Ox Baker. It could be a tough non-title bout for them here tonight.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 516 pounds, the FCW World Tag Team Champions, Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. Oftentimes with teams, you know one member is better than the other. These are two superstars who are equally high level. Eight pounds, Gilbert. This superstar talks about putting everything on the line to be here, not having a backup plan. It's only been this. Is that supposed to be inspirational? All that story says to me is that they're three seconds away from losing it all. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. partner from parts unknown weighing in at 327 pounds oxley baker my heart goes out to this competitor they've had a lot of broken friendships here in wwe <laughs> oh please you really think the friends are the problem here i think we're looking at the true villain right here careful Corey. you keep thinking like that you might start to like him All right, the Hart Foundation is, they are the tag team tag champions, team so underway, Braggy, they Braggy have a good advantage. Highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Oh, oh nice, nice kick there. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Titles are not on the line here, though. Down opponent and a double axe handle smash. He's absorbed some damage already. Stomping down, stiff kick. Climbing up top, he's got Red Hart is not off to a good start at all here. Diving knee drop. Sight set on the top rope. Look out! Splash! Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Oh, and Anvil <laughs> is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, the Anvil's defensive yes. instincts need to kick in. Big forearm. Soak slam? Oh, no. All the way up. Oh, oh into us. Here he goes for the win. He stops the count for his partner. Come on, Ox. Put into the corner now. I mean, I thought you were coming in to help here. I was throwing him out of the ring, but go ahead, keep him busy. He got rocked there. Pay attention, ref. Kick out just 
before two. Right now, I That's just right. don't know what it's going to take. Just sending a message there. And he's soundly taking control here. Yeah, he's showing Those no two are busy outside the ring. Side. Gilbert has an opportunity here. Oh, Red Hart blocked it. Gilbert lost his finisher. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Close line. Here he goes for the win. Oh, that was close. This match continues. Where the hell is my partner? Supposed to be keeping Nightheart busy. across the top rope now why would you do that the object is to get him out of the ring not bring him in the ring finds the mark he's turning the tables reciprocating the initial reversal I don't know where Nightheart is choke slam oh no all the way up <clears throat> Nightheart. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. I oh, thought Nightheart was. This is it. And it's Nightheart that goes for a ride. Come on, Rip. And still in this. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. It's all right. It's okay. We have a finisher still. Keep him busy out there, Rox. Oh, Edbo anticipated that. The face has been planted. The lights are dimming for the hitman. Two count. What a kick out at two. All right, first of all, beats on. he We're stopped counting. Tenacity it takes to be the best. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. This has been a colossal battle to this point. No superstar. I oh, son of a bitch. Down. We are seeing all, all the right. best on display, but it might just come down to who can Let take Ox advantage in. of a pivotal mistake. And tag, he did it. Let's go. Punch right in the head. He's starting to struggle here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. And right between the shoulder blades. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Elbow finds its mark. Nightheart is not in good shape either. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to hit Bret Hart. All that fucking work for nothing. Look at the torque. There's no escape from the camel clutch. Oh, he saves his partner there, man. That was in tight. Thanks, partner. Oh, Anvil anticipated that. Oh, yes, he anticipated that too. Good, good. Make the tag. Make the tag. Retaliation from the hitman. Hoping to end it here. This is it. No. He gets the kick out after the one. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Sent crashing to the floor. Right in the head. Oh, look at the squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, God, this is his chance. Will he seize the moment? Pin. And he breaks the pin. Gilbert, what the hell are you doing? Big overhand. He got whipped into that corner. That's He's fine. Oh. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Knife fed 
huge chop echoing through the arena. He can't take any more of this. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Knew what was coming there. We might need to stop it. Come on. This is chaotic. Come on, ref. As the legs wrap, fisherman suplex. That's gotta be it. Two. And just like that, get, it, get him out. Right Pay it. attention, ref. And referee cuts off the oh. count. Jesus. Alright. We have a finisher. He managed to get the shoulder up. Which isn't a submission hole, but it's good enough. We can go for the pinfall. Nicely done. Finally, he picks up the victory. Nightheart's bleeding out there. Victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Gilberg and if Ox I'm Baker. Division, I'm hoping with all my heart, I don't come across these two in the future. Defeat the Heart Foundation in a non title bout for the main event of Florida Championship Wrestling here. Four and a half stars, instant classic. It was a good match. Tag team matches are so hard to get the pinfall. All right, that brings an end to the Florida Championship Wrestling Television Show. And we now move over to the final week of June AWA action. Let's take a look at the card. John Studd against Ken Patera. Adrian Adonis, your AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, has a non-title bout against Captain Lou Albano. Triple threat match, Nikita Koloff, Bob Backlund, and Samoan Sika. Tag team match, Larry Zabisco and Sergeant Slaughter, who is the World Heavyweight Champion now, going up against Montez Ford and Dawkins. They're the AWA Tag Team Champions non-title bout. Kevin Sullivan battles the Iron Sheik. Abdullah the Butcher, the AWA World Heavyweight title holder, has a non-title match against Terry Funk. Andre the Giant battles Dirty Dick Murdoch. Hulk Hogan hooks up with Luthez and the main event for AWA Wrestling this week, Rowdy Roddy Piper against Jesse the Body Ventura. Their feud has been going on for a while now. Piper has interfered in several of Jesse Ventura's matches lately. The WWE Universe with an electric feeling here tonight. We are sold out and raring to go. I am amped up, pumped up, jacked up, and ready to kick things off. What are we waiting for, fellas? Let's watch some fights. All right. Big John Studd falls to Ken Patera. The AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, Adrian Adonis. Non-title bout against Lou Albano. The captain falls to Adonis. Here's a triple threat match. Sika, Bob Backlund, and Nikita Koloff. Nikita Koloff comes out with the victory. Here's a non-title tag team bout. The champions, Dawkins and Ford, against new World Heavyweight Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. Teaming up with Larry Zabisco. Zabisco and Sergeant Slaughter pull out the win there. The Iron Sheik battles Kevin Sullivan successfully. The AWA World Heavyweight Champion Abdullah the Butcher 
defeats Terry Funk in a three-star non-title bout. Andre the Giant falls to Dirty Dick Murdoch. Hulk Hogan, a very interesting matchup against Luthez. Hulk Hogan goes down in defeat. And here is tonight's main event on AWA Television Wrestling. Jesse the Body Ventura against Rowdy Roddy Piper. I will play out Roddy. Piper's been interfering in Ventura's matches for several weeks now. The body's been looking for an opportunity to get even. And he has it here tonight on AWA television. WWE Universe witnessed the arrival of a legend. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. The legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Roddy Piper's entire career has been predicated on being controversial. When you think you've got the answers, Hot Rod changes the questions. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 288 pounds. Jesse, the body, Ventura. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. Look at that sign. I'm live on pay-per-view, but it's, it's not a pay-per-view show. And here's a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. But across the way is the huh. cunning Roddy, Roddy Piper. Piper apparently does not WWE like Jesse Ventura's face. No competitor as wild and, well, Rowdy as Hot Rod. Piper's got fire in his throat and turns the heat up with every word he speaks. Get too close to Hot Rod, you're gonna get burned. This match grinded him down a little. How do you deal with a superstar like Roddy Piper? He won't hesitate to pull a dirty trick if he thinks it'll get him the win. Stay on the attack. If you get Piper any room, he'll use it to set one of his schemes in motion. Keep him right where you can see him and maintain relentless offensive pressure. Oh, and a big oh, uppercut. He Piper is has pounding the body. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Looking to take flight here. From the top. Consecutive high oh risk my maneuvers God. in the face this match has certainly picked up. Oh, picked man. up. It you hasn't slowed down anyway. since it started. And Hot Rod has earned the upper hand. And I think Piper has more in store. Watch out. Running Bulldog. Some fire. The body's bleeding. Time 
to pay the piper. He has put up absolutely zero offense against Piper. And now Piper's trying to put him to sleep. Is it good night, Jesse? It is! Ventura's sleeping. He's in Never Never Land. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper has just kicked his ass. That's an incredible victory and a hard fought one at that for this superstar. There was nothing hard fought about it. What incredible matchup we witnessed here. Tonight. Rowdy Rowdy Piper just gave the ass kicking of a lifetime oh, and he's not done yet. Apparently the superstar isn't done either. No, not at all. The official trying to back the superstar away, enough, but enough, enough. You proved your point. Roddy Piper gets the win. It's a one-star match officially. One and a half. Lackluster. Which it was if, you, if you're looking for action from both participants. Roddy Piper beat the living snot out of Jesse Ventura there. But don't think that the body won't be back looking for revenge. That brings an end to the AWA television show for the week. And we now move on to the final show of June Thursday night, Florida Championship Wrestling. That'll be the final show of this session as well. The opening match of the evening, Ox Baker, Kevin Sullivan, and Pat Patterson in a triple threat match. Bob Backlund versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Bam Bam Bigelow, he's the Florida heavyweight champion. He takes on Ax in a non-title bout. Here's Justin Michaels. He's back on the card going one-on-one -on -one with Arn Anderson. We'll play that one out. Hulk Hogan continues his feud with Alpha Samoan. Here is a tag team match, non-title bout. The Hart Foundation are the FCW World Tag Team Champions going up against Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff and Ted DiBiase. That should be a pretty decent match. The Big Boss Man and Haku continue their feud. The masked superstar on the card tonight doing battle with Greg the Hammer Valentine and the main event, Mick Foley, does battle with Terry Funk. We're not going to play that one up because we're going to do the Justin Michaels match instead. So let's get started here. Final show of the month of June. Florida Championship Wrestling. FCW TV has some good matches here on the card tonight. We just got official word. Tonight's show is sold out. I know I've been excited ever since I saw the match card for tonight. Enough chit-chat, gentlemen. Let's get this show on the road. We're here in St. Pete. All right, we'll get started with the triple threat match. Won by Kevin Sullivan. Here's a good matchup. Bob Backlund and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Backlund gets the victory in a two-star match. Your Florida heavyweight champion, Bam Bam Bigelow. He defeats Axe in a non-title match. And here is Justin Michaels going up against the former world heavyweight champion, Arn Anderson. He is still the NWA world champion. He lost the world title to... Sergeant Slaughter not long ago. Those two are in the middle of a feud. Justin did defeat Arn Anderson already once. It was a non-title bout. So there could be a feud starting between these two as well. Arn Anderson not on many people's friends lists as of late. Another long, long load time.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 255 pounds. The Enforcer, Arn Anderson. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for. And they are excited to finally get it. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 228 pounds, the voice, Justin Michaels. This person is a little self-absorbed at times, but the WWE Universe doesn't seem to mind. Well, I think they appreciate someone with serious self-confidence. It sends a good message. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the deal here? I have plenty of self-confidence, and I rarely feel appreciated. I would fully expect Sergeant Slaughter to come out and make an appearance during this match in one way or another. This is Justin's second match with Arn Anderson. Sergeant Slaughter came out and kicked both of their asses, <laughs> attacked both of them at the end of the previous match with these two. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. He's demanded the match for the last six days. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. But across the way is a man yes. who's rededicated his focus. Someone who's been spending extra time training and scouting for his competition. He knew that was coming. Oh, he's taking some good hits. Arn Anderson is looking every bit like a former champion right now. And look at those shoes that Justin Michaels has on. You better believe that that hurts. And he's already busted Anderson open. When, when Justin kicks you in the face with those shoes, those are diamond studded shoes with a hard ass heel on the bottom of it. So no matter which part of the shoe hits you in the face, it's gonna hurt. Twists the arm and a... I don't like to look at his eye here, folks. Justin saw that coming. Jaw Big boot. boot to the face. And Arn Anderson gets right up like it didn't even hurt him. Arm sister, look at these series of boots. Blood pouring down Anderson's face now. He's getting pushed out into the defensive and hanging tough, but soaring, diving foot stop. <laughs> Brutal. Takes another trip to the sky. With those and shoes on. Once again. And Arn Anderson is a bloody mess. Rolling elbow right and it looks like he is done. He's dictating the pace. He's looking relentless. It's on the shoulder. No sign of Sergeant Slaughter yet. First up top, a diving knee drop. Will it be? It has to be. Oh, roll the shoulder out at the last moment. Every kick out taking so much energy wow. to muster. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Reversal. Can he take advantage? 
sequence of reversals there. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh, he blocked it. showing how well scouted they each are. Rolling that time it connected. Looking to get into the pinfall. Nice move by Michaels. He gets the victory. Well, he didn't put any blood in. Arn Anderson did. Look at him. Oh, there's Sergeant Slaughter. I knew he'd be coming out at some point. It's finally going to break down right now, I think. You can really just feel the tension in the air. You're absolutely right. Looking, I don't think we're going to have to wait much longer. No, not at all. He's going to take the fight right to him. The official are trying to prevent this from happening, but this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad if it breaks down in the aisleway here. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Trash talking. Oh, there we go. One hand. And another one. And here we go now. Rights and lefts. Brawl underway. Here's security trying to separate these men. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Justin Michaels gets the victory in a three-star match. I don't know how you consider that three stars. He beat Arn Anderson to a bloody pulp. Three stars, very good. That brings us to the end of June. I'm sorry, it does not. That was not the main event. I thought it was the main event. So Justin Michaels gets the victory over Bloody Arn Anderson. Next up, this feud continues. Hulk Hogan and Afa Samoan. Something's going on, and the match is going to change. Hulk Hogan gets the win over Sika. He must have come in to help out his brother. Three-star match. Hogan gets the win. Tag team match. The Hart Foundation, your FCW World Tag Team Champions. In a non-title bout against Paul Orndorff and Ted DiBiase. And the Hart Foundation comes out on top. Big Boss Man and Haku continue their feud. Haku wins a two-star match. This is an interesting one. Greg the Hammer Valentine does battle with the Masked Superstar. And the Masked Man gets the victory. And tonight's main event we're going to simulate since we already played one. Mick Foley doing battle with... Terry Funk and Mick Foley comes out victorious. All right, so we move over to the calendar and we now go over to July. July gets started with AWA TV Wrestling Tuesday night. And it looks like Gorgeous George is going to be on the card. July's pay-per-view for these two organizations is in week three, and it is July Justice. All right, I thank you for joining me. We're going to call that the end of this session. The AWA and Florida Championship Wrestling, an interesting month that saw Sergeant Slaughter win the World Heavyweight Championship from Arn Anderson. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified when I put up new content. I have a minimum of two videos that go up in each and every single day. And I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content coming up. I, I have so much WWE 2K22 stuff coming up, I can't even explain it all to you. I have uh, the final four or five weeks of my GM that has been finished. 80% uh, of my rise, those are all um, also scheduled to go up. We have the uh, universe, as you're seeing now, and also I take requests for matches. So if there's a dream match that you'd love to see, uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. The participants, the type of match you'd like to see them in, and the arena. I will do the best that I can to um, 
play it out for you. Males, females, current day, legend, doesn't matter. Um, those are a lot of fun, and I've had uh, a lot of those. And usually I live stream those. So I thank you for joining me. And like I said, if you did enjoy the video, if you saw something cool, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And have a fantastic day.